Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Turn out the week two. Oh no, we just took a while to load. Uh, yeah, my foot's still no good, which is kind of sad. I went to the doctor today, just a, a very quick update. Uh, and I, I've, I'm, there's a cast on it for the next two weeks. So no brand, no, very sad. But I've been kind of working out, so we'll see how it, eh, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you, you can only do what, what you can do. So yeah. All right, today we'll just go over today's farm. We have 1910, remove all occurrences of a substring. Also, uh, before I start, even though I said, oh, let's go do this. I'm curious, anyone, do, is anyone, uh, you know, getting the new Civilization 7? Man, it's coming soon, right? I, I don't know when it is exactly, but it's probably better to not know, but, but you know. But, uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments. It, it used to be one of my uh, uh, favorite things to do as a kid. I uh, was playing Civ 1 but um, and Civ Net and Civ 2, I suppose. But yeah, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> so anyway, let's take a look at this one. Okay, we have two strings, S and part. Perform the uh, following operation on S until all occurrences of the substring part are removed. Find the leftmost occurrence of substring and remove it from S. Okay. Um. Hmm. I mean, I, this is fine, but I, I was just wondering if there is a way to do it, or, or I, I think as a as a fun mental exercise, I was just thinking: that, does it matter if it's leftmost or rightmost? Like, I guess I'm just trying to figure out: like, does the order matter? My my gut reaction would be yes, but uh. But I'm just trying to think of, of a case where that is, you know, so then I can, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's not related to this farm, honestly, but I was just curious. So we have like, duh, 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 duh. I mean, because left, right, this is going to be the same, right? Like, what can change about it? Like, like I'm trying to think about invariance, but I mean, it's not that, it's not super relevant to this farm, but I think it's just something that I'm curious in exercise, like where I'm trying to remove ABC. Does it really matter if I'm moving the left first or right first? Because it obviously, if, if there's only one, then it doesn't matter. If there's two, I don't think it matters. I want to say, well, it doesn't matter for ABC, but maybe there's like some uh, BABA thing where uh, if we try to remove BA or uh, ABA. Then maybe there's some weird ordering thing. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I have to think about this a little bit. But maybe we'll do that offline. Okay, so let's let's take a look. Right, left most. I mean, I think this. Um, and some of it is because we literally did it yesterday. Is that it, it feels like an extension of yesterday, except for now we have our uh, n characters instead of whatever or m character, may say. Uh, depending on the number of things in part. Uh, and the part is going to be a thousand, so that's going to be a little bit messy. But uh, for this one, right, you can do it in, you know, what's the fastest time you can do it, right? Well, um, Needle and Haystack is, um, you know, string sub, sub string search is going to be just O of N, right? Um, if you do it right, or O of N plus M, if you want to be more precise uh, with say Robin Cobb with, um, with uh, what's the other one? Uh, uh, there are a lot, right? It's not just one. There's like KMP, there's, um, man, I'm just breaking out right now, but th there are a lot of things named after a lot of people, right? So you can do it. And if you do that once, you remove a character, right? So what is the complexity of that in the worst case? Well, you, um, if you remove, you know, if you remove one character at a time and you you take all of n times each, it's going to be n squared. That that example doesn't quite work. You probably want something like square root of n or something, right? Uh, to be your worst case. Then and now that's square root of n and square root of n times, um, or all of n plus square root of n times square root of n. So that's going to take n times the square root of n, maybe, right? Um, Something like that would be the worst case, uh, but but that that's fast enough, right? Is what I mean, because n is only a thousand. 
So th that's kind of like the way that we're going to think about it um, in terms of doing it naively. Can you do better than, like similar in a way than uh, with, with what we did yesterday, right? I think so. Hmm. Hmm. I want to say so. Um, but I, I don't know that I'm going to do it because, I don't know, I'm just a little bit lazy. But the idea here, right, and maybe that's the kind of thing that we talked about yesterday. Also, someone uh, in the comments, uh, I, I, sh I, I want to give credit, but I, 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 I read it on the subway, so I, I don't remember. Someone said that you don't actually even need an explicit stack. You could use a, use an index, though. Um, that doesn't allow you to skip over the digits. So that's why that's not um, the same, even though it is uh, isotomically the same, but it just feels a little bit more icky. But in any case, for this one, um, so I, I'm going to do it the, the uh, naive way, right? Just because it's a little bit easier. Um, so maybe you can even write something like, uh, wow, um, part is in S. Uh, what, what, how does that call? I forget the syntax for it. Um, I don't know. In, maybe something like this. Well, oops. Right? And then S is equal to... Do, 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 do. Uh, index plus length of P. Someone like this. Maybe I'm off by one because I'm off by one a lot. Uh, but someone like that, right? Uh, P. Oh, port. Right? So that, that looks okay. Let's see if that's fast enough. Apparently it is, and 100% even. Some of it is because in Python, uh, string operations are very optimized. Well, I mean, I. Well, optimized in the sense that uh, versus other relative things in Python is very fast. It is uh, because it is written in C, right? But um, so yeah, not so bad. Uh, but what's the complexity here, right? Like I said, the worst case is that this is going to iterate square root of n times. I want to say um, because if this is n, then eh, I guess maybe it could be n times. If you have one character and you do a loop for it, it takes all of n. Eh, maybe it's n square in any way. Hmm. Though it's a very cheap n square, I suppose. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, n square is going to be the, the worst case uh, in that case, right? Um, I don't know. Because this is O of n uh, cost to do. Um, and if this loops O of n times, well, this is O of n. And this is O of N, so this is just going to be N squared. And given that N is 1,000, this is going to be good enough. So how would you upsolve it, right? If you are interested, I, I'm not going to do the coding part because I'm a little bit tired and lazy in my foot. I want to just go to bed and rest it. That's my excuse. But um, if you really want to, well, pause. I'm going to pause for a second so you could pause and then upsolve it yourself. Um, but otherwise then, yeah, the idea then it is just... Um, <clears throat> it's uh, I mean I wouldn't say it's tricky tricky but it's definitely not trivial either is um, this idea of um, rolling hash Robin Cobb right um, there are a couple of variations of uh, rolling hash and Robin Cobb and all these things so I think sometimes the language gets lost but the idea is kind of similar to um, the prefix sum right because you can ca calculate the prefix sum or the, the hash for a prefix and then if you have two hashes then you know uh then you could get the the uh, uh, uh substring hash right and then you just have to do some comparison and then if it match then you just pop off that many characters and that's good and that's it um and then now you have a new prefix thing to look for right it just allows you to to look at the last three characters or well why did i say three for for m characters less m minus one character um it's hash plus the current character very quickly. So that's really most of the idea and that's it. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think that it is easy, but it is simple conceptually. And I've done it before in some problems, but, uh, but yeah. Um, that is all I have for today though. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the weird pacing. Uh, my foot still kind of hurts. I need to kind of, I don't know. Uh, old man problems, you know, but that is all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.